Welcome. In this episode, Carl's going to show you how to stop the grey water regurgitating in the shower. We visit Lake Lascelles in Hopeton and catch up with some of the Chamberlain tractor crew. Lake Lascelles is amazing. It's located about a K and a half out of Hopeton. It has hot showers, toilets, powered sites, camp kitchens, picnic tables, and fire pits. Also has what appears to be cabins that you can hire. There is a boat ramp to take out the boat or the jet ski for a fee and they even have a pontoon just to fish off. Today, we have come across a very unique group of people. They are driving their tractors on holiday from Haywood in Victoria to Burke in New South Wales, 2,000 kilometres. On this trip, there is eight tractors and they travel at about 40 kilometres an hour. So the whole return trip will take them more than 60 hours worth of travel time. The reason there is only two out of eight tractors is that one of them had a rear tire failure out of town. So they've driven into town to try and get some help and a replacement tire. Because obviously when your tire is about six foot in diameter, you can't carry very many spares. Check out the air conditioning on the yellow tractor. It's a bit of a through flow aircon and he's got his fridge close by for those cool drinks. Just in case you're wondering, they get about 10 litres per 100 kilometres for their fuel economy. So they're going fairly well, a lot better than us. I am laying under our caravan. What am I doing under our van? Well, I'm going to install a one-way, I suppose you could call it valve, in our grey water system. What's been happening with our van is that when our grey water tanks say half full and we go down a hill, so front down, the grey water tanks at the back of the van and since it's higher, um, then the front obviously the grey water will flow back up the pipes or down the pipes in this case and come out in our shower and we all know what grey water smells like it doesn't smell good we normally put our towels and the shower head and all that in the bottom of the shower so that normally gets then wet with grey water so what I have is a it's essentially a one-way valve so all it is is really, if we have a look inside it, oops, if I can get it open. If I have a look inside it, you might be able to see in there, hopefully. It's just really a rubber flap. When water flows through it, it um, opens up and allows it to go through. But when it flows back the other way, it has difficulty flowing. So for some reason, um, a lot of van manufacturers don't install these. I don't know why, because I don't really like the grey, uh, the smell of grey water in the shower. So um, we're going to put one in. This van's uh, a little bit different to other vans, in being that it uses a corrugated type uh, pipe for its uh, water system, so it doesn't break off-road with stones. If you've got one that's got PVC, this can fit straight into it, but we've had to put some uh, adapters on the end and barbs to go into the corrugated rubber pipe. This fan also has two pipes leading into the grey water. Uh, one side comes from the shower, which is this side. The other side over here comes from the two sinks, the sink in the kitchen and the sink in the, or the vanity. So 
we're only going to put it in one side which is the shower side because the vanity and the kitchen sink are normally up higher and they also have plugs so we don't really have a problem with them so i've selected a spot which is here because it's nice and open in case the filter gets blocked it's got a barrel union on the end here that you can undo and access the little one-way valve in there to unblock it or anything or replace it even because it will perish over time so we're just going to stick that in here cable tie it up somewhere there and it should solve our problem so if you've got smelly grey water issues after you've been traveling you probably don't have one of these one-way valves and um, this will probably help you what i've done is i've cut the pipe i've um had a go at fitting this in but it's a little bit too tight so what i'm going to do is get some hot water hopefully we can heat it up enough so that it could slip in because it's just too tight now so what i've got now is our best cooking pot with boiling hot water hopefully i don't burn myself Sit that in there. Get rid of that. Hopefully we can get this sucker in. Who fixes plumbing problems in a flash? 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Baby, I sure wish I could lend you a hand, but plumbing's one thing I don't understand. It's true. Well, that was a little bit difficult. Hopefully that'll do it for us. And we will not have a lick. These hose clamps are a little bit big, but it's the only size I could get at the time. So beggars can't be choose. Right on the end. Now we'll just get the right length. For the next one and I know it can't go on all the way so we'll go somewhere there so what I'm gonna do to make that a bit easier not that it's gonna be easier but I'm gonna undo this The next one.
there we go all done it's a um, hope it doesn't vibrate too much and the fittings were a little bit tight uh, or the hose was so we'll see how that goes um, hopefully it's all good for now thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want a reminder hit the bell and remember we always love a thumbs up In the coming weeks, we will be doing a quick Q&A to answer some of the questions that we've been asked. Then we'll be heading up into the Victorian High Plains, do a variety of four-wheel drive tracks, have a look at some of the super old huts, relics, and all of that sort of good stuff. And not to mention the great scenery that goes along with it.